I have a few points to make today. First of all, I want to talk about jobs. Second of all, I want to talk about jobs. Third of all, I want to talk about jobs. Because jobs is the most pressing issue facing this nation. We've got 13 million plus people, can you imagine that, who are out of work. Some chattering economist like to trumpet the fact that the recovery, or rather the recession, has ended. I don't see how anyone can claim that the recession is over when 13 million people are out of work. But it's going to take a longer period of time for this recession to abate, for economic growth to come back. Urban League affiliates have been economic first responders. They've been on the ground. They've been in community, not by ourselves, alongside of many, many others. Some talk, some think, we do. Some talk, some think, and we do. And that's what we celebrate today, the very important work of the Chicago Urban League in helping people respond to the economic crisis. What I'm trying to say is that the country at this point cannot, should not, take steps that are going to kill jobs. Take steps in an effort to try to find a solution to the nation's fiscal problems that will cost the nation's jobs. Our economic team analyzed the proposed budget cuts and concluded that it would cost the nation 500000 to 700,000 jobs, 500,000 to 700,000 jobs. And those are jobs that represent people. Those figures have faces. Those figures represent families. The Urban League has not come to the table in these difficult economic times and said, let's declare war on unemployment without offering a plan, without offering ideas. Uh, that 12-point plan, uh, is in your packet and at your table. And I would encourage you all to take a look at this plan, but let me offer just a few thoughts about what we think we have to do indeed as a nation. Number one, we have to focus on preparing our young people for the jobs of tomorrow. Not the jobs of yesterday. Does it mean K through 12? Yes, it does. But it also means pre-K. And it also means community college. And it also means college, but it also means workforce programs like the one that the Urban League runs for those people who may not have finished high school on time. We also need, and Mayor Daley talked about this, we need a new coming together between the public sector and the private sector to focus on things like not only green jobs and the smart grid, but on broadband jobs, on advanced manufacturing. We need a little less of the private sector saying, government, you fix the problems. Government saying, private sector, no, you need to employ. And a little bit of an old-fashioned get together, collaborate, and try to decide how we can build plans together. What I'm hoping is that the Urban League is going to be a voice to lead the way. That the Urban League is going to be a voice to encourage and inspire others to lead the way. That the Urban League is going to say, we cannot be fearful of a more diverse America. We cannot be fearful of the future. We shouldn't close the door on the American dream for people. We need to embrace 21st century America. So I leave you with that. It's our choice, and it's our chance to lead from whatever seat you sit in. Let us envision a 21st century America with jobs and the American dream for all. Thank you, Chicago.